If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. When you get knocked down, you gotta get back up. I ain't the sharpest knife in the drawer, but I know enough to know. If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. Making sure a video on how this stuff goes together. It's pretty simple once you do it once, but uh, the first time if you're not really sure what you're doing, it can be kind of a pain. So I thought I'd throw together a quick video, might help a few people out. Um, if you have any questions or comments, get over to Panco on the website, you know, help you out any way you can, and uh, we're going to go through this pretty quick. Uh, a lot of my stuff's already together. I'll show you what I've already put together, and we'll try to get this thing up and running. Alright fellas, uh, first thing we want to do on this is take this cover off your engine. Most of you guys are going to know a lot of this. If you do, just skip through the video to the part that you need. If not, you can watch the whole thing. We'll go step by step on how to put this in. Then we take this cover off. Okay, here's where this first part, the Pamco side goes. I've already took uh, the rubber part out, came from here. Drilled a hole into it, run my wire through it. I've already got it wired. Uh, the instructions on wiring's on the uh, website, but that part starts in here. Plug the rubber back in it. This part goes up. Um, it's a little tricky if you're not careful how to get in there. Turns a certain way. Pamco's got a couple pictures on its site. Tells how, uh, how it should look, probably close to get your bike started. Uh, again, mine is an 83, so uh, mine's going to be about right there. You've got two bolts, comes with your uh, kit. It's got washers. You want to put those in. The holes are already there for it. So let's we'll put these in here right quick. It's got another one for the top. Put it in there. Okay, your PAMCO is in. Now, on this side, you'll notice that uh, there's holes here for the bushings. This is where your brass bushings will go. You'll have one brass, one steel. On the PAMCO side, you only want to put the uh, brass in. And uh, the way I put it in is I'll set it in the hole, like such. Let me set the camera back down here for a second. I'll zoom it in so you can see it better. There you go. Okay, not much of a cameraman, but you know, shoot, who is these days? Ah, dag on it. Let me back it up a little. Okay, the way I've got mine in is I take a uh, 10 millimeter on a uh, socket wrench. Fairly, fairly simple install. I take my 10 millimeter the uh, hammer, set my socket, it's a small well socket, set it on there, just tap it right into place, you're in, fairly easy. Okay, that's got your, uh, it's got your brass bushing in, it's got your Pamco in, if you'll set it about to the top there, or you, you'll have a little space here, that should start your bike enough to where you can time it. Uh, we're going to go ahead, get the rest of the pieces. Um, you'll see these two pieces here in your kit. What this is, this is your magnet, and the washer holds the magnets in in case something should happen. They would want to come out. You've got a way to stop them from coming out. So we'll just take this, slap this down right on top of it, like such. And there's that piece together. Now, the next piece you'll be needing is the uh, is the rod? It's got two sides. The long side is going to go on the Pamco side. So what you want to do is go ahead, put the camera back up again, so you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. What we're going to do is I'm going to take this this rod. A little bit of grease. We're going to grease it up so that it doesn't stick while it's trying to spin. 
hang up that'll throw your timing off. So we're just gonna apply some grease on it here. Put a little bit on it, be sure everything's nice and slick. So while it's spinning, you're not getting a lot of heat, everything's sticking together. And uh, trying to stick up, because like I said, if it does stick up, you'll know it because you'll be out of time. It'll uh, cause a lot of problems. So you wanna be sure that this is lubed uh, fairly well. And uh, once you get this lubed up, just want to put it in the hole and slide it right like that. And grease your eggs, of course, are always handy when you're doing this. Uh, you've got that in, just want to wiggle it into place right like that. Take a hammer and very lightly, very lightly, type it in, tap it into the hole. Um, you may have to do a little adjusting back and forth to begin with. Once you get it right, and once you get that in there like that, there is a uh, there's a little 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 peg here, and what that does is that lines up with this hole right here. That's what keeps this in place, keeps this spinning right. So I'm gonna pick up the camera here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to pick this up. You want to take, like I said, take this piece here, slide it right on there. Very simple. Just turn it till you feel it latch in. You'll find the hole. Uh, there it went. Just spin it and push. You'll feel it latch on. Once it latches on, you want to take the uh, 10 millimeter nut and lock washer. Put that on, lock wash it first, you want to take your nut, very simple, put it on there. Put your cover back on, that's wrapped up your Pamco side, we'll go to the next side in just a second. Okay guys, this is the other side, uh, I've already took the cover off, the 650 cover, goes over that, you want to take these two bolts out again, drop that cover. Um, one thing I really learned on this when I was putting it in is there's one piece of this that is extremely, extremely important. If you don't use it, you'll know it. You'll never get it right. You'll fight with it. You'll fight with it. And uh, it, it's just a real pain. Um, can't remember what the exact part number was for it, but it's a little, little, little tiny locating pin. Comes in a bag by itself. It's about this big. Microscopic, of course. Um, when I first put mine in, I thought that was an extra for the uh, for the rod. It's not. This is what locates your timing. There is a hole. I don't think I can pick it up. It's so so small. Let me try with a lot here. If I can pick this hole up, there it is. See that little hole right there in the very back, right there. That's where that pin goes. Uh, be sure when you're putting this together, that pin is in. Um, I'm going to back this up. Best way I've found to do it is take a needle nose pliers, grab it by the top or long ways, and uh, just kind of drop it in. Be sure it's pushed in place good though. Um, it's really easy to come out. So I'm going to back up the camera here a second and I'm going to put that in. Again, um, it's got long ways here. Take it by the uh, 